Let's take a look at how we can create a really effective, simple text shadow effect in Keynote. Here I am on a Keynote deck on my MacBook, and I'm going to drop in first a rounded rectangle, which I'm going to make a little bit larger, and this will serve as kind of the backdrop for the effect we're going to be creating. I'm going to round out my corners fully, and let's go into Style, and we'll add a nice gradient background. All right, that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to add my text. So I'm going to add a text box, type in my word, and let's change the typeface, make it bold, and I'm going to make it large, about 420 points. We will get it nicely centered on the slide, and I'm going to drop down my character spacing to about negative 3%, and there we go. Now. To add some depth to this, I'm going to start by selecting my text box and heading over to the Style tab in my Format window here, and we will add a simple drop shadow. Um, you'll notice I have the blur all the way up, the offset all the way up, I have my opacity at about 60 or 61 percent, and it is pointing directly down. So this would be as if the light source is from above and it's casting a shadow down below. Now that looks pretty good as it is. Maybe I want to lower it down a little bit more, but that looks pretty good. Um, however, we can actually add a second different shadow to this text as well to create an even more realistic effect. So to do that, I'm selecting my text box. I'm going to head over to text and I'm going to click on this gear icon under my font options. And you'll see I have the option to add another shadow here, which is what we're going to do. Now, I want it to be pointing down in the same direction, so I'm going to make my angle 270. I'm going to make my offset about 8, and my blur, I don't know, about 10. And let's turn our opacity down to about 80%. And now you can see what we did here was we were able to add this second layer that makes it look as if the text is raised up off the screen. And so the result is a very realistic text effect using this double shadow. If you play around with the two shadows, you can create all sorts of different effects and illusions to make your text look interesting and unique and different. So definitely something worth checking out in Keynote. Enjoy.